10 p.m., Port-au-Prince Airport. Our team of 11 doctors and nurses from Florida lands. Orthopedics, ortho, ortho. ENT. ENT. And within minutes, it is literally all hands on deck. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Get it. This very makeshift clinic overseen by doctors from the University of Miami Medical Center, it's overrun with patients. No, uh, at, at the other side, yeah. And we have three patients who are looking imminently near death and we have nowhere to even put the bodies right now. This is a six-month-old baby girl who sustained uh, second and third degree burns to 40% of her body, which puts her at risk for dehydration, infection. This is a cream that helps with healing and helps to prevent infection. We're also giving her antibiotics and pain medication. If we were in a hospital, this baby would be probably sedated in the operating room. One doctor called it Civil War Medicine. The surgical suite here. On my count, one, two, three. A folding banquet table in the open air. I, I don't know her last name. <laughs> At 3 a.m., a small miracle, courtesy of the South Florida Urban Search and Rescue Team. This 15-year-old girl, known only as Lovely, was trapped under a school collapse, a dead body on top of her, and her arm pinned by concrete. EMT doctor Mark Grossman had but one choice. Uh, I had to go in and try and amputate her arm. And what equipment did you have with you? Uh, first I tried with a scalpel to cut through the skin, but it was uh, the way she was positioned, I couldn't cut all the way through. And uh, then I had to use an electric saw that we use for regular rescues, like to cut people out of cars. But it worked. I helped resuscitate Lovely and monitored her vital signs as surgeons tied off the major blood vessels in her arm. And things have hardly slowed down today. We've been unbelievably busy at the medical clinic, Jeff.